the rectus abdominis, so your six pack muscle. Um, so the actual origin is the crest of the pubis and the pubic symphysis. So it actually goes way down to here to the, um, the bone, right here. So that's where it actually starts. And the insertion is xiphoid process, right up here. And the fifth, sixth, and seventh rib. So it actually connects over here then, okay? So the major action of the rectus abdominis is the flexion of the trunk. So kind of sitting forward and compresses the contents of the abdominal region. So that's the major actions. So with the rectus abdominis, there are many trigger points, but the trick about this region is you really don't want to push straight down here. You actually want to push more in to that region, okay? So I'll just show you some of the trigger points for the rectus abdominis. So the first one is you want to actually find the xiphoid process right here. And just go down a little bit. Okay, and then you can actually push in. So there's a couple here and here. So those can just refer around to this region. So you can actually have them do a little crunch, do a little sit up um, to actually feel the rectus abdominis a lot of times. So you can actually place your hand there, have them do a little crunch to locate that region. And then also for the lower ones, you want to find the navel and you just locate it out here. And these typically will go down to the guinal region for the referral. So that's a typical region for the referral for the rectus abdominis trigger points. So that's why somebody comes in for comes in with the groin injuries. It's not always in the groin region. It could be in the rectus abdominis or other muscles we'll be getting into for the typical referral then. So for the lowest one, this this one's a little bit tricky. You have to actually kind of push down, push down, push down, push down, push down until you feel the anterior pubis region. And directly not right on the center, because that's more the bladder region, just a little bit lateral and kind of hook underneath of it. But that um, referral could actually go to the low back region. So um, just explain to your, the client what you're actually doing before you actually start palpating this region just to be safe. And for one that will actually go to the mid-back region, so these, there's not many of them that will actually go to the other side of the body, but you feel the xiphoid process, like an inch down, inch over, you've got to kind of hook underneath the ribs in this region. So that can actually go to the mid part of the back then, so the typical referral. So in, for the internal obliques, that's a inguinal ligament iliac crest area. So it's right in this area. That's where the typical origin is. And then insertion, abdominal um, region, and that's actually the lower four ribs. So the action is bilaterally and flexion of the trunk and unilaterally lateral flexion and rotation to the same side. So kind of rotation of the, the trunk region. So that's for the internal obliques. And then for the external obliques, that's the external surface of the lower eight ribs. Okay, so right in here. And the insertion is um, linea alba in the iliac crest. So it'll actually go down to this region here. And bilaterally, inflection of the trunk, unilaterally, and lateral flexion, and rotation to the same side. So those, those were that. And for more of the external obliques, you want to feel the rectus abdominis. Again, you can have them do a crunch to actually locate that. And just off of that, you want to kind of push into that, but just make sure you're not pushing into the rectus abdominis. But you really, anything about the navel region, you never want to really push straight down just because the liver, gallbladder, spleen, all those areas, you just don't want to um, injure the organs. So that's why it's actually better to go at an angle in the abdominal region. But this is very under, underused in the massage field, so um, try to locate these trigger points on here then. So for the transverse um, um, abdominis, the origin is the guinal ligaments, iliac crest, and the lower um, six ribs. And the insertion is the abdominal aponosis to the linea alba and the iliac crest. So right in this region so it's kind of transverse and, wrap, and it actually wraps around the internal organs 
and it's actually um, the deepest um, deepest abdominal muscle then. So the rectus abdominis is the most superficial uh, abdominal muscle. So again, that's the six pack region. So for the external obliques, you want to feel the feel the hip, so the iliac crest region, just go up a little bit. You can push into this area. So it can refer around to here. It can actually refer around the inguinal region too. So those are the typical referrals for that. But a lot of times these muscles are kind of lumped together for the trigger points. But that's why um, use the navel as a landmark too. So for the rectus abdominis again, there's one just off the navel, just a little bit below too for the rectus abdominis. And there's also, you remember, there's one right above the um, pubis symphysis. Okay, So that one will actually refer to the low back region. So again, a lot of people have low back problems, so you might want to try that one out if you're not if they're not getting any benefit um, from massaging the back then.